With their victory over Wapakoneta tonight, the Bath Wild Kittens haven't lost a league game since the 2010-2011 season. That means Maddie Dakin and the other four seniors on the team haven't lost to a WBL opponent since their freshman year. Quite a run, but it's just barely scratching the surface of what Maddie has accomplished at Bath. And in the middle of her fantastic senior season, Dakin is the subject of this week's OIO Prep Profile. Maddie has always felt right at home on the basketball court. I, I just love the whole game. It's just so much fun. I just, I've always loved it. I fell in love with it when I was little, so. For the four years that Maddie's been in our program, she has been a joy to coach. The fun thing about Maddie is she will take what you tell her, not in a negative way like some kids might. She'll take it as being, this is something I need to get better at doing. And, and she's really made great progress as a player. That coachability has helped Dakin grow into a prolific scorer. She flourishes in Bath's fast-paced offense, and thanks to years of playing together, Maddie is always in sync with her teammates. It's a lot of fun, especially with us five seniors. We've been together since like fourth grade, and it's just it means a lot to be that we're all still a solid five. We've got five very solid seniors led by Maddie, and uh, I've been very happy with the progress of our team from the standpoint of we have. Um, those seniors who have really set a great, great example for the younger kids in our program. Having that kind of depth allows Dakin to share leadership responsibilities and pick her spots when to be vocal on the court. I think all, all of us five lead, or all of us five seniors lead pretty well. So right now we've got a group of kids that are are really it's a burning competitive desire that they have deep down inside that's just spreading that's infecting the rest of the team and you can see that. Maddie and the Wild Kittens are hoping that passion for the game leads them on another deep postseason run. Last year, Bath lost in the regionals, but Dakin and a few others have recent state experience after being a part of this year's record-setting soccer team. It would mean a lot. I mean, that's always our goal is to go far in the tournaments, and especially my senior year, I want to go as far as we can. Once it's all said and done at Bath, Maddie will play basketball at Ashland University. Her work ethic both on the court and in the classroom have given her the opportunity to play the sport she loves at the next level. Well, I took a couple of visits and um, after I visited there I just knew I loved it and um, they made me feel at home so I like it there. The school work's very important to me too. That always comes first. I mean I always have to get my homework done and make sure I'm studying so that's very important to me. She's an honor student. She's a hard worker and I know that that will lead uh, into her college career and she's a role model in school. I mean she's a kid who comes to school every day, does the right things and does them the right way and uh, it carries over onto the basketball court and that's what's made her such a good basketball player. She takes care of the, uh, the little things in life and, and those things are what you know make big differences. In Bath, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.